Breaking story is a funny term, actually, because it sounds like you are doing damage to something, but you're not. Breaking story in the writer's room is literally sitting with your writing staff in the writer's room, trying to figure out the structure for that particular episode that you're working on. So a lot of people, like I, will use index cards where you'll start to make a, an index card for each scene and you'll start to tack those up on the board. Some people just use whiteboards. That involves a lot of erasing, which always feels like going backwards as far as I'm concerned. But uh, it is sitting with your chosen staff or by yourself if you're writing a pilot. I mean, whoever you have at your disposal, your wife if you're by yourself. Uh, but sitting in a room and trying to figure out the whole story, breaking it, meaning what are my act outs going to be? What's my beginning, my middle, and end going to be? Once you have those, what are my act outs going to be? What scenes, what order are those scenes going to be in? And it can be a really torturous process, but it's, it's an exciting process when it starts to come together. And if it doesn't come together after a lot of work, that's when you realize maybe there's a problem with the story. Maybe I'm ending it too soon, or I don't have an ending, or... I'm not, my characters aren't motivated enough, but it is doing everything you could conceivably do to the story before sitting down at your computer and writing it. When a writer is starting out, you're going to write a spec episode. It needs to be an example to people who read it that you know how to write in somebody else's voice. So what we always joke about is you don't want to write the very special episode of whatever show you're writing. In other words, you don't want to write the episode where somebody's dad shows up who's never been in the show before, or where uh, it's the Christmas episode and everybody does atypical things, or uh, at the end of it somebody wakes up and, hey, it was all just a dream. That, those are really special episodes of a given show, and if a show is going to go that direction, where it's all been a dream, that is going to involve a lot of work in the writer's room with real writers, but when you're going to spec it, somebody would read that script and say, this guy doesn't really understand what the show is like. So, you know, I always tell people not to, you know, in life, in, in conceiving of shows, it's good to think outside the box when you are trying to write a really good example of that Walking Dead script or that Mad Men script that is really going to look like the last episode of this show, that somebody who really watches Mad Men reads your script and thinks, man, how did I miss seeing that? It's clearly, it's, it's, an, it's an example of this show. You really need to really lock onto those elements that are important and typical to that show, and you need to focus on those and make sure those are in the episode you're writing. There's a tendency when you write any script, or at least if the way I approach writing scripts is like you just keep sanding it and you keep sanding it. You make it you're trying to make it perfect. You keep rereading. It's like, oh, I could lose a line if I take these three words. Is it, would this be better with a period or with an ellipsis? All that is great for how the script looks on the page. The problem is people aren't, you know, television, a television show isn't comprised of your pages being turned in front of a camera so people can see how great you structured that script. It's going to go through so much reinterpretation from when you wrote to when it, you know, it's acted. You're going to have a director look at it. You're going to have the network, the studio give you notes. It's all going to change. What you need to have there is a good story that can then be built upon by all the contributions that all these people are going to make later on. So it really doesn't serve you that well to devote too much time to the perfection of your words on the page because you're not writing a book. It's not going to be published. It's not going to be put on a shelf and you can, you know, people are going to take it out and say, man, that guy really knew how to end a sentence. It's going to be on TV and you really need to let it go at some point and just realize I'm, I'm trying to entertain here and if I really want people to understand, you know, how I, you know, capitalize particular words, write a book, don't write a script. I would say to every aspiring writer that writing is harder than you think it is. So I know certain people feel like, I took a class, I wrote a script, so now I'm a writer. Why is it so hard for me to get a job right now? Well, there's a lot of learning involved in writing, and there's a lot of need to stick with it and write. I mean, my, my ultimate word of advice to every writer is write. I mean, I have reviewed my career and all the you know moments when it seemed like moments when I was unemployed or moments when I was blocked or moments when I needed to come up with an idea in 24 hours. And the solution to, you know, the answer to all of those questions, the solution to all those problems is always write. You know, writing is the answer to every 
problem you're going to encounter in your career. Sitting around and wondering what you should do is just being stuck in the water. So write, write is my advice.